Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 5 of season 2 of My Next Life as Villainous. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. How we might not even see Rufus again. Which I want to see him again. Like, oh god, he's so fine. Huh? <laughs> you guys. No, honey. <laughs> guys are just worried. It's okay. Mm-hmm. No, Maria. Well, it's because they love you, babe. <laughs> Oh, I like her hair. <laughs> oh my god really you're worse than Yuki's brother oh my god <laughs> oh god <laughs> Probably did.
Oh my god, cutie patootie. No, sad day. Poor baby. Oh. <laughs> Poor baby. baby. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we all do that. Really? Mm. I don't want to say he's cold, but because of the fact is, yeah, he really does seem cold and distant and such. I feel bad. Yeah, the one light in your life besides your mom.
No, hold on. What's up? Yeah, since she likes to garden so much. No. Mm. And fell in love with Katarina, of course.
Hmm? Oh, babe. Mm. Well, now you know. It's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and she was kind of but not as much you know You know, they kiss. <laughs>
God. <laughs> oh God! No, unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> like, you know, the one thing that I like about Gerardo now, he well, he's kind of been like this ever since you know season one. He he takes charge. He, you think that Katarina would be the one to wear the pants in the relationship, but it really is him. There are times where she kind of wears the pants in the relationship and such, and she's very, um, dominant and such, in a way, kind of, but yeah, I mean, honestly, to have this story to focus on brothers, I, I thought it was really interesting and such. I mean, to hear almost, well, in a way, we kind of got to hear, like, every side story for each of the four brothers and such and everything, which was really good. Alan, my, oh, my son, my son, my baby, my love. Oh, my God. Like, I hate the fact that, yeah, most of his life well, as a kid, he was sick all the time. And you feel bad for him. You feel bad for her. Anybody who gets really sick, especially with still what the hell is going on with COVID and everything, and now that the numbers are officially coming back up again, you're like, damn, like, oh, God, you're about to go through this another freaking year, uh, which is crazy. I just, whoa, God, at this point, <sighs> like, uh, big old fuck, that's all. Like, God damn it. But to get to hear the story of everybody of like I said these four brothers very interesting and sweet and I'm glad we got it that's all you give me huh that's all you giving me seriously that's all you're gonna give me and I just froze too that's all we're getting? You're not giving me anything else? <laughs> That's so much. <laughs> you could at least gave me something else with her because, because you know, she's so important to um, <clears throat> Katarina and such. And so, yeah. Even though we can technically, you kind of get her with Sophie because she is very similar to Sophie. Except the fact that she, you know, she wasn't reincarnated and everything. But still, it would have been nice. But yeah, I mean, this was a really good episode to focus on the boys. Um, not all, well, kind of in a way, almost all the boys except Sophie's brother and such. Because you gotta, you kind of get that episode really more in season one rather than in this season. Even though this is only episode five. And I think, what, by next week we'll officially be on the halfway point of the show? Um... But I would really love it. Really, really love it. I, I love the fact that it's like, yes, everybody was very overprotective in this episode. Once officially, yes, when Katarina came back to society and everything was all normal again for her, did she really think it was going to be that normal? I mean, I know it wasn't going to be. Of course, everybody is going to be like up on her and being like, okay, we want to know where you're, you're at at all times. We're going to follow you. Um... Just to make sure that you're safe and such. Because we don't want this situation to happen again. Be Having it be like a regular occurrence. Like happening every few so months, weeks, whatever. And so, of course, yes, they had the right to be very overprotective of Katarina. But at the same time, you know, Katarina is like, hey, like, guys, I'm okay. You don't need to hover over me. And so she just wants that one time. You know, just to be alone. Everybody's kind of like that. And everybody wants that, like, alone time with themselves and then their thoughts and everything. But, you know, sometimes you can't get that because, you know, here came Jono out of nowhere. And be like, hey! <laughs> but the fact is that Mary and Sophie was ready to kick some butt. <laughs> and Keith came and was like, hold up, we're going to separate you two. Like, oh, but the kiss, that was so cute. Like, oh. My heart, like so cute. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't with this show. I love it too freaking much. <laughs> but yeah, 
yeah i mean it was a really interesting episode it makes you wonder what the heck is gonna happen next especially with um the older brother's girlfriend i mean her girlfriend fiance who goes by multiple different um disguises and everything and what else she's really gonna truly do and then it makes you wonder the girl who's in the opening with the blue eyes like with the black hair as well where is she coming in like when is she coming in and what the heck is she going to be conspiring conspiring against and shit like that but i'm guessing we're not going to find out until the second half of the show but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episode five of my next life as a villain this season two if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode six bye guys